What if we stop caring about body image? What will happen to the gyms? How would that affect the food industry? And what about the cosmetics industry? What would dating be like? Would that affect who gets hired or the kinds of celebrities we look up to? Would pretty privilege be dead? Now, I don't have all the answers to these questions, but I do want to open this up for discussion in the comments. So let me know what you think about this whole scenario that I'm placing right now. But I have a couple of questions. Do you think obesity rates would skyrocket? Or do you think that people would just be generally more happy and less depressed? And just a side note, this doesn't mean that people are not gonna work out anymore or they're not gonna eat healthy. And I also nick myself on the head. So if you see like a drop of blood just start running down my forehead, don't worry, I'm okay. It's okay. But the reason why I thought about this is because when I talk to some of my clients, they are so depressed about how they look and their body image. And they've been going in these diet circles year after year after year. And then they think about who they want to look like and all the social media influencers and TV and celebrities. And I always reassure them that, look, you're healthy. You're all right. Nothing wrong with you. If you want to pursue this goal, I'm here for you but you're all right. Now, do not get me wrong. I don't think that there's anything wrong with intentional weight loss. Shit, that's, that's my job right there, at least half of it. But when you start to get depressed and you start stressing over it and it starts to affect your mental health, now I start to have a little problem with it. And especially if you're healthy, you technically don't even need to lose weight. But as the years progressed and social media started to skyrocket, I noticed that more and more people that I approach, they say, hey, I want to look like X social media influencer. I want to look like X celebrity. And they want to aspire to have these bodies just like them. And this is where some problems start to occur. Unrealistic goals, at least for some of them. But I'm falling a little bit off topic right now. What if we all stop caring about body image? I tell you one thing, my black ass would probably be out of a job. But seriously, what if we all stop caring? Would it be that bad? I imagine people will be happier. Anxiety levels will go down. People will probably make better decisions when dating. Probably less divorces and better in hiring processes. Less bullying and more fair treatment. Hmm, I wonder, isn't it kind of human nature to be physically attracted to people? Like most animals, they choose their mates based off of their physical appearance. It's in our DNA. But let's look at the other side of the argument, y'all. Obesity rates, would they skyrocket? Nah. Let's just say as a collective, the whole entire human race, we said we are no longer gonna allow body image to control and dictate our mind. We're just gonna get rid of it. We don't care about it anymore. How would that affect us? Now that we're getting more sedentary, we're sitting in front of the TV more, streaming, scrolling, doing all that stuff, will people stop working out and stop eating healthy? I don't have all the answers to these questions, like I said, in this hypothetical scenario, but I just wanna open up discussion to positive body image and self-love. And with that being said, the average human being does not have visible abs. Having body fat is not a bad thing. And we gotta stop demonizing desserts. I like cookies. And if you're not a size dot 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 females fill in the blank, I don't know these sizes, I'm sorry. You're not lesser than the person that's actually that size. Come on now. All I'm trying to say is if you're a healthy human being, you're winning. You have a victory under your belt. It is a blessing. And second, like I said, I'm not against weight loss. Hell, I help people all day with that. If it starts to affect your mental health and disorders start happening and you start seeing those patterns, then that's when I start to worry. There's nothing wrong with trying to lose weight. I just believe that it should be a fun, stress-free goal, in my opinion, if you're already a healthy person. But if you're stressed and you've been trying to lose weight for months or years and you've just been going around in a diet circle and you've been unhappy with your progress and you don't love how you look, just stop, stop dieting, get off of that. Take a couple months, weeks, however long you need. Get back to just loving yourself. Get back to understanding the process, learn. Learn about nutrition, learn about working out. Just try to develop some patience. In a couple of months, you may say, okay, I'm ready to jump back on this journey and try again with a different mindset. Or you may decide that, look, I'm healthy. I love how I am. I may not want to do this again. And that's perfectly fine. I commend you. But at the end of the day, if you don't love yourself, then you're not happy. And happiness is the key to life. <sighs> but check out my last video, y'all. I was talking about the five habits that changed my life. Peace. Hey, make sure you check out my last video. Peace.